It all begins with Abdul Malik. So who is Abdul Malik? He was the caliph from 685 to 705. He is the one that is known as the great Arab reformer. He takes and creates an identity for Arabs. And what do you do when you try to create an identity for Arabs? Remember, they had already taken over Basra, Baghdad, Damascus, Jerusalem, and Cairo, these cities that are all over the Levant. They had now taken over all of North Africa, gone all the way to, to India in the east and Spain in the west. This they did by the end of the 7th century. But all their traditions were dependent on Judeo-Christian prophets. All their traditions come the line of Isaac. And they're not from that line. They needed a prophet who comes from Ishmael. So what do you do? You create a prophet. And you redact it back to the man who started the conquest. And we know that Muhammad is historical. He is the one that begins the conquest. He dies in 632. But if he's a prophet, he has to have a book. So you start amassing and borrowing from many different sources. And look at the Quran. It is full of borrowing. 70% of the Quran we can now trace back to Jewish apocryphal writings and Christian sectarian writings. There's nothing new under the sun. They borrow right, left, and center. But when you start compiling it, there are going to be different Qurans. You can see there were different schools. There was one school in Damascus where a man named Abu Ubay ibn Qab had a manuscript that was different from Basra, where there was another Quran that was written by a man named Ibn Masud. I mean, Ibn Musa, which is different from another Quran that was in Baghdad named Ibn Masud, which is different from another Quran that was in Medina, written by a man Zaid ibn Thabit. Remember those names? These are all in their traditions. I'm referring to their own traditions. Dr. Arthur Jeffries in the 1930s looked at all these traditions and he just looked at what they said about the Quran. And when he looked at the Quran, he found out that there were 11 different Qurans mentioned in the traditions and there were 15,000 differences between these 11 Qurans. Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Now, why haven't Muslims told us this? Can you see it makes my job a lot easier? 